Hi there, I'm so happy you're here. Welcome back. In today's video, we will be talking about engineering economics. But before we jump into that, I would like to remind all of you with an engineering education from outside of the United States. If you are interested in evaluating your education in this country, I have put together a PDF guide with step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. Click the link below and you can download it for free. A little note here, some states will allow you to sit for the exam before you can do your evaluation. And some states will ask for this evaluation to be done before you're approved to sit for the exam. It really depends on which state you are in. That being said, let's jump now into our example for today. Today, we're gonna to talk about benefit cost analysis. In a benefit cost analysis, the benefits B of a project should exceed the estimated cost C. All sorts of income is considered to be benefit and all sorts of payments are considered to be cost. Based on that, both values are to be compared and the following should be achieved. Benefit minus cost should be greater than zero and benefit over cost has to be greater than one. Let's work on an example. A new water network will cost $180,000 annually. There will be favorable consequences to the general public equivalent to $600,000 annually and adverse consequences to a small segment of the public equivalent to $60,000 annually. The benefit cost ratio is most nearly. So first let's identify which payments are a cost and which ones are benefits. So we have $180,000 annually which is a cost. And then we also have a benefit of $600,000. And we also have adverse consequences to a small segment of the public equivalent to $60,000. And this is considered as, it comes as a cost. So then we have a $240,000 cost annually and the $600,000 as benefit. So the benefit cost ratio equals to $600,000 over 240. So the benefit cost ratio equals to $600,000 over 240. And when you do the calculations, this equals to 25 so the benefit cost ratio is 2.5 and the correct answer is D. That is it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and give it a like because this helps put this video in front of more people just like you. Keep on practicing the FE problems and I will see you next week.